okay? Terima kasih! Woo! Welcome to Padar! So this is the first island we're gonna do in this Komodo National Park. And then after we're gonna go do Rinka to go see the dragon of Komodo and maybe get some snorkeling done. So let's get excited and let's go with the adventure. I haven't checked if they're coming or not. Oh, Michael's coming. Look at that, overkill. Oh, Love it's, it. It's not a gimbal, it's an iPhone charger. It's, it's an iPhone charger That's today. That's the only reason Look I have Look at that. It. This is uh, your Instagram shot because you're gonna have the view over there. Really, really nice. And awesome for shots also for pictures. We're just a bit late because of all of the problems uh, with the boat. We are currently stuck in the bay, so it's been about 10 minutes we've been riding and we are already broke down with the boat, which is a great news. Right, Michael? Yeah, but well, it's, it's still beautiful here. So, I mean... I mean, yeah, we're enjoying an amazing sunrise. We've got Michael from Making It Happen Vlog, who is going to be with me for a few days. It's going to be awesome. We're totally single now. We're going to have the bachelor life. It's going to be crazy. We're going to be editing until 5 a.m. Waking up at 3 to take boats at 4. That never leave. Anyway, rescue boat is here. And it's called... Woyo, woyo! Ate! Yeah, Captain J! Yeah, Captain J! Yeah! So the sun is really high, actually. The light is a bit harsh. It should still be okay. We should still get some like decent, awesome shots. come here just for Instagram shot you also come here for this incredible view look at that it's just out of this one look behind me whoa Hi, and the next island we're going in it's gonna be over there it has the dragons of Komodo that chase people and eat them alive this is magical love it let's see what Michael is I tried to run up totally out of shape couldn't go past the half could have walked out more live behind the scenes what you see on YouTube, what you see on Instagram. You see, this is how it happens, guys. You come here, you climb up, you take your drone out, you fly it in the air. But first calibrate your drone, always calibrate You make some drone. sound to pretend it's flying. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, then you take the Instagram shot, next location, and that's it. But seriously, it, this place is absolutely amazing. Look at that. Make sure you keep going all the way up, because for some reason, everyone stopped over there. I mean, it is beautiful. If they just want a shot, that's enough. But I think you get an even better shot from the top, so do not miss that. Oh, look at that. Look at that beautiful island. There's some small, like, beach over there. It looks insane. Fun fact, if you come in two months, now we're in March, everything's brown. The, the grass is dead. Everything is absolutely brown because now it's rainy season. The rest of the year is like super, super dry. It's like a desert. You have to come here, definitely. Come here super early if you can. We totally failed that. Um, the boat guy is actually kind of waiting for us, which is ironic because we were, yeah, they were like an hour and a half late and then the, and boat, then the boat broke down. The boat broke down, but his friend came and we're with his friend now. So yeah, we'll meet you in the boat. We're gonna go to the next island to see the dragon. Welcome to Rinka. Awesome, everyone's excited. What is there to see here? Komodo dragons. What are Komodo dragons? They are big dragons, big lizards, and they have a special bacteria in their mouth. When they bite something, it puts a bacteria in that person. Michael just told me that. That's why it's not venomous actually. It's just the bacteria that actually kills you over 24 hours. Take some antibiotics, you should be fine, but they run really fast and you're gonna see them absolutely everywhere. So just be careful and don't get 
you know, chased happens. We just saw a video of a Japanese TV people who were getting chased in the park. It was kind of funny, but at the same time, you don't want to do it. Oh my God, guys, we're approaching the first giant Komodo dragon. Look at that. It's huge. What? And like I mentioned, when I came here eight years ago, they were basically at the same spot. You can see them like around the houses and everything, which is uh, pretty cool. Look guys, there's dragon right here, we're on the trail and sometimes they chase you. This time it should be okay, it seems pretty peaceful. We've got Michael playing wildlife explorer, national geographic vlogger, look at that. Michael, how is it going? I feel like Steve Irvin. I don't know him, but cool. Alright, moving on to the nest of the dragon right here. They can lay about 30 eggs. So you're the female, but some of the eggs get eaten by the mother, or by snakes, or by eagles, by plenty of stuff. So not all of them will survive. Pretty cool. Moving on. Michael, how do you feel about the dragon? Uh, I don't want to be a Komodo dragon. Sounds like a bad day at the office. <laughs> what about you, Heinz? Would you like to be reincarnated into a dragon? Maybe not in a baby dragon. <laughs> not into a baby. Okay, okay, we get it. No one wants to be the baby. This is what the dragons eat. Dragon troops, human beings. Done with the trail, and Michael is gonna play us the music of love. Oh, it's not really well tuned. Fun fact of the day, Michael just broke the cord. It's too bad because I did not record that. That was the funniest part of the day. All right, leaving Rinka. What did you think of it, Michael? It was really nice, yeah. but I'm, I'm hurting bad with my sunburn. Dude, I, he's so red. Look at this guy. Poor yeah, guy, man. suffering. He's super duper red. And this time, nobody can blame me because I put sunscreen on twice. Sorry. 50 SPF, but I was... Kia explained to me I was using coral killing shitty sun cream, which I should not use anymore. I don't know if I put it that way. You also explained that was something interesting I didn't know. Yeah. That the sunscreen actually, it uh, it comes off in the water and it, it goes onto the corals. Yes. And then the corals are unable to absorb light anymore. Yes, exactly. Which makes them die as well. So that's not, that's not what I want. So. No, yeah. So I made him feel bad now. Yeah. And he has sunburns. But, so, if you're concerned about that, or if you're slightly respectful, which I think everyone should be, just get a coral reef safe uh, sun cream. On top of that, they stick better to your skin, and they're not gonna go away as easily, so, which is double the win. Rinka Park was exactly like I left it last time. Nothing changed, it didn't get bigger, it didn't get smaller, which is a great thing in my opinion. It's just got more expensive for no reason, but let's get back on the boat. And we're back in action and I've, we found this tiny island. We were just passing back and I told our boat driver, hey, can, can you just stop? I think I just want to go. Here we go, we are leaving the boat. Uh, the captain was great in my opinion. What do yeah. you think? Such a nice guy. Great. Sober. Super nice. <laughs> super nice. We met him when he was drinking yesterday, so that, that makes it super interesting. In case you're wondering, if you're coming here, you can rent your own boat like that, like we did, you charter it. Instead of talking to people in the main street, 
uh, that I have organized tours and stuff, you come here straight to the harbor yeah, and yeah. you just straight. start chatting with the, the boat owners, the captains basically, because it's their boats. And at the end of the day, if you go with the tour, you're gonna pay a cut with them. So some boats are nicer than others, some break down. So do your due diligence and, and check, I think. Ch maybe check. I looked at the boat last night, but it was very late. Uh, I saw it was a bit old, but yeah, you just have to be careful. Uh, you can't look inside an engine though, so... Yeah, and Thank anyway, you. we got blessed by uh, an amazing sunset tonight coming back. We're gonna find our accommodation, I'll catch you in a second. So, quick story, I came here eight years ago in one of those like little bungalows down there behind the trees over there. And the same hotel has still the same things, it's not online apparently. And this is the, the room we're gonna get. And look, the view is absolutely incredible. Uh, the price is gonna link in the blog post below. So make sure if you want more information about prices and stuff here in the Komodo, make sure you go check out the blog post. Lots of useful information. But Michael, how do you like it? It's nice. It's nice? It's nice and bright. It's got a great view. The price is good. I mean, it's hot. It is cheaper and the view is absolutely sick. All right, so now we're gonna go check in. We're gonna go east. Uh, we're gonna organize tomorrow's tour, which is gonna be diving here in the Komodo. You don't wanna miss that. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't. Make sure you like that video. Make sure you leave me a comment if you've been in that area. Let me know which one is your favorite island. I'm super curious because there's so many of them. Uh, kind of tired, gotta edit a few vlogs and we'll see you in the next episode. That's coming out very soon. See you guys, bye-bye.